can't touch this. From Kazmar Studios in Western Washington comes the most hardcore cooking show on this side of the Mississippi. Welcome to Iron, Iron Chef. Chef. My, 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 my music hits me so hard, makes me say, oh my lord, thank you. Iron Chef is not responsible for any injuries or deaths caused by making the recipes presented on this show. Hi, my name is Miles Erickson. Welcome to Iron Chef. Today, our chef will be cooking an ancient Egyptian kebab recipe. Yum. Oh, man. All right, meet our chef, Caden Ridgway from Seattle, Washington. He's a very celebrated chef who I quite enjoy being here. Hello, beautiful audience! Today I will be making you a creation of mine that takes thousands of years to make. It has a very tricky recipe, and it's one of my greatest creations. That sounds wonderful, Caden. Alright, are we ready to get started? We are! Alright, let's do this! First, you're going to take the board like this and place it here, like a sword. Then, you're going to take your adequate good little boy coin, this. And you're going to take it and put it on the cutting board, like so. No. Then you are going to take uh, this cold. knife, and you're going to seriously chop. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to take this meatloaf, and take it and soak the juices into a bowl. Like, in your mouth or in your hands? Cause you're going to squeeze it very hard. Once you soak the juices off of the meat into the bowl, we're going to take the rest of the meat and do it so. Because we've already cut open this end, so the meat juices are going to pour into the bowl, like so. Then, after you do that, you're going to want to take some spices, farmer spices, ones you consistently know it right worked on the mile. So you're going to take your spices and put it in the bowl. Once you're done with that, you're going to take a pyramid tomato, which I don't have, because you guys weren't thinking ahead. <laughs> like this. <laughs> now, with the pyramid tomato, you're going to want to cut it into 12 pieces. Cut it into pieces. You're going to take the tomato and you put it in the bowl. Then you're going to take the bowl and put it in a medium saucepan and put the ingredients in it. Like so. Then you're going to put the saucepan on the stove and cook it on a light heat for about one year. And while we wait for this to cook, we're going to talk to Andrew, the judge. Hello everybody. This right here is a fine concoction. I personally enjoy viewing Caden's cooking. He's a very skilled chef. It's a pleasure to have him on the show. True that. I can't wait to try this. Alright, now that you let it cakes, you go out to take this, and you go, oh, this is very hot. And you're going to take some peppers. Peppers? Like bell peppers. You're already going to consist of one god pepper and one king pepper. Once you've taken the god pepper and the king pepper, you're going to take it onto a cutting board and slice it like it's said. Once you've sliced it in about eight pieces, <laughs> you're going to take it and put it in the barrel that needs to be consistent on the juices. Because we're going to cook this, so we won't need, need to be clean. Oh my god, I gotta try some of that. Oh man, that's good. So, once we've taken the peppers into the bowl, we're going to now want to add some light wine. Hypocrisy wine. It is one of my favorites. This is a wine fountain. It feels wine. We're going to take the wine and put it in the bowl. Now that it's placed, we're going to need 
another saucepan. Like this. You're going to take this concoction and you put it in there. Now that while we let these cook, and you notice that it's changed the color, it's because the wine originally is a very bright white wine. And when it cooks, it turns a different color. But well, now we're going to be taking a little of sea apple, and we're going to take it on the cutting board, and we're going to cut it into a sixth. So when I cut this, it's going to look very, very, very cut like this. And we're going to want to take papyrus sugar and place it on the apple to help it caramelize in the oven. Wow, that looks so good already. I need to taste some of this. It's very good indeed. Now we are going to take a sphinx spice. We are also going to take it and put it on the apple. Wow, looks like a big mess, but I'm sure it's delicious. Now we're going to take the apple and put it in its oven safe bowl. Once we have taken it in an oven safe bowl, we're going to cook it. All of these ingredients are going to simmer for 2,000 years. And while we let this cook, we go to a commercial break. This show has been brought to you by Toyota. In Soviet Russia, the Toyota drives you. Welcome back to Iron Chef. That was a word from our sponsors. Now let's get back to the show. Alright, welcome back. And now we've all of our ingredients and put them together. So we're going to take this nice hot bag pot. And then we're going to take this and put it in the bowl. Now that we've taken these in the bowl, we're going to put them in these like this, and then once they are done, we're going to mix them with our hands. It's very hot. You should not do this. I have been cooking for a very long time. My hands are very callous. Now that they are all mixed in, we're going to take a hatati or stick, and we are going to put our ingredients in any order you choose. I'm choosing this. Is first the tomato, then the meat. <laughs> Then the apple. <laughs> the meat again. And then the apple. Now we are going to let the judge Andrew try my genius creation. Thank you, Caden, for this <laughs> lovely combination. Oh man, I wish I was you right now. <laughs> you can try some of <laughs> You want some of this? I will take a bite. From Egypt. <laughs> this is a Channel 5 news update with award-winning anchor Sam Altenberger. Good evening, I'm Sam Altenberger for Channel 5 News. We have breaking news right now that the product Egypt Kebab has been recalled due to the FDA finding a potentially deadly Hypsgos bacteria inside the food. If you own this food, do not consume it, and discard of it immediately. Back to your normal programming. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Egypt is very spicy. <laughs> Apple tastes quite good. <laughs> now I'll taste the pork. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is quite delicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give Egypt an 8.5 out of 10. I like the uh, variety of flavors. What do you think about this? Well, I'd have to try it first. Oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> clear my throat. Woof! <laughs> Taste the flavor of society and evolution. Oh! And that now, delicious. 
Oh my. <laughs> Kaden. That <laughs> is a perfect empire. He's reveling in his own creation. So now that you'll die, my genius creation, we are going to end the show. A word from Miles. Boy, am I full. That was beautiful. Thank you very much, Kaden. You're welcome. Michael Well, I guess that's the end of Iron Chef. Thanks for viewing this, and I will see you later on the next episode of Iron Chef.